What's up everybody, my name is Scooch and welcome back to Dream Daddy. Now, we already finished the Craig date, the Matt date, the Damien date, the Joseph date, and I think that's it. So all we have left is Hugo, Brian, and Robert. I want to stay away from Robert because he was awkward at the barbecue. Hugo's kind of eh, doesn't really match my interests too much. So let's talk to Brian and see if we could have another Pokemon-esque brag battle. Let's read this. Brian Harding. Hey, I'm Brian. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta do his voice. Hey, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. On a Friday night, you're most likely to see Joe just how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? My fishing pole. That's pretty smart, actually. What are your turn-ons? A keen understanding of steak cuts. What did you want to be when you grew up? Fireman. Yeah, this is all, <laughs> it totally fits the bear thing. Uh, what's your favorite movie genre? Romantic comedies. That one doesn't. Uh, what's your ideal date? Deck building. What do you never leave home without? My portable fishing pole. This guy really likes fishing. I spend a lot of time thinking about how my dog is smarter than I am. That is cute, right? That's a good thing. Dad tip 80, don't pirate games. Laserdisc is clearly the superior digital video format. Laserdisc was around for like a week, right? That's the giant CDs that kind of look like records. Don't forget to floss every day. Man, I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian more, but it seems like Daisy and Amanda get along well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake of the kids. I crack my knuckles and start typing. All right, how to get in this dad. Hey, Brian, great grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. We should get the kids together and hang out soon. I wait a couple minutes until a dean comes from my computer and a message pops up on my screen. It's Brian. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, hey! Oh, oh wait, wait, sorry. Hey, hey, man. Always love a good burg with a buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition. Rock on, Brian. He signed his name. That's cute. It wasn't with a tilde, so good job, Brian. Friendly competition? This is perfect. I know Amanda and I will crush Brian in mini golf. I've been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid, and I'm proud to say that she's almost better at it than I am. But nobody's better than me, because I scooch in the best mini golfer in the world. Almost. Most. I type back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and place and we'll be there. Hey, Amanda. Huh. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? <laughs> I'm a little out of practice and I know my backswing leaves something to be desired, but I think I could keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. Time to whoop some ass in mini golf. You ready for this? Hey. Arr, matey. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Why are you talking like that? Mm -hmm. Because this mini golf course is pirate themed? I just now realized that we are indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of a putt-putt course. Oh. All right. Come on, pirate dad. Won't you talk like a pirate with me? Arr, ahoy, um, scurvy? Uh, avast ye. I don't see pirates, only angles. There's no time for jokes. Avast ye. I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, Doubloon? <laughs> C come on, Dad. You told me that this was just going to be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is Dad code for actual competition. I need to prepare my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian on the field of glorious mm. battle. It's just mini golf. Just mini golf? It's so much more than that. We lost last time, Amanda. You better know that this is a real competition. I kneel down and place a hand on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. It's not a big deal, don't worry about it too much, but we have to beat Brian at mini golf. Whatever happened to just having fun? Oh, we will have fun. When we beat them. Huh? Amanda gives me a side eye, but before I could side eye her back, I spot Brian and Daisy. Ah. Ahoy there, mateys. Yeah. Uh, ahoy! <laughs> Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they're already, they already rented out golf clubs for our mini, mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think of that? Yes. All right, first mate. I hear there's buried treasure in these waters. You gonna help me plunder it? Uh, oh, Amanda. I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just play. It's just to play putt putt on. Aww. Daisy, goddammit, Amanda gives Daisy a look. Huh? Uh, I, I mean, aye aye, Captain. Daisy winks at Amanda. Huh. Ah, look at these two. They, they, they're two peas in a pod. So, you excited to get some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. Hmm. You a gambling man? I know when to hold them. Depends on what's on the table. 
Do I get you if I win? Ooh! I can come on so strong! Let's see. Do I get you if I win? Depends on what's on the... T God, I kind of want to just outright hit him with that. But the kids are here, so let's just do... Depends what's on the table. What are you willing to part with? How about the loser buys drinks tonight? All right. How about we make it a bit more interesting? I'm listening. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn this weekend. Well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? God damn it, Brian! I think you should be a little more concerned with how you're gonna maneuver around my hedges. It's highly technical work, not for the faint of heart. I don't think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh, yeah? Hole in one every time. What I just said is not a true thing, but it already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. <laughs> Story of my life. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen. Brian and I eye each other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. It's about to go down. It is about to go down. Army. And I'm about to beat the heck out of him. Wait, how do I do this? Click. Woo! All right, ready? Wait for it. Click. Okay, all right, all right, wait. No! Son of a bitch! Why is it talking all piratey? Right? There! What? Come on, God! Dead men sink no putts. Dead men sink no putts? That's actually pretty clever. Okay. Let's go! Scooch is the greatest. Uh, right there, right? Mmm. There! Woo! I'm so good! Ah, oh, shit! God damn it! Okay, this one's gonna be a roughie. I gotta hit it right... There! Yes! I am a beast. I am the best. No! God damn it! Shoot! I can't beat- I can't beat these holes! Yo ho ho, 518. Hmm. Sleep is important. Make sure you're getting enough. Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the next hole. Hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time destroying Brian underfoot. I just ask because your eye is twitching. That's not twitching. No, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrows. We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right. It's just a game. A game with extremely high stakes. The game we're currently winning. Hmm. Dad! Oh. Please, Amanda. Please, nail this next hole for me. We need to keep this streak going. Oh. If it's really that important to you, sure. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she winds up and... Launches the ball into the parking lot! She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug! Amanda! Hmm. I don't want to mow someone else's lawn. Oops. <laughs> I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. You know... What? Round two? Oh, shit. Alright, let me think. There? There! Okay! Holy shit, there's a rough one. There! Woo! And... Right there! Fucking god... Son of a... Freaking... Butthole, you shoot! Your ball. Oh wait, this one I could just bounce off the wall, right? Oh no! I shouldn't have taken the risky play! You've lost your ball. You've lost your ball. There! Into the run. Oh, what the fuck am I looking at here? Huh? What is... What am I looking at? Dead men sink no pots. Okay, 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 okay. There? I'm not even thinking this one through anymore. Wait, please. Please, God. No! I'm just eating shit now. Okay, this one's gonna be a roughie. Uh, let's just go for right there. God! Ooh! Ooh! What is this? Huh? Motherfuck. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Damn it to hell. Yo ho ho, 918. Am I winning? Oh. I try to maintain an air of professionalism because the children are present, but confetti cannons are going off in my brain as someone is placing a wreath around inner me with the words best dad emblazed on them. Emblazoned? Emblazoned? On it. Hey. 
Man, that was some good shooting there, Scooch. Thank you. I told you I was the best. Mini golf is no joke. I have bested you in the field of battle. Mini golf is no joke. I don't know what to. Mm, I have bested you in the field of battle. I want to do that because he's in kind of. Mini golf is beneath me sounds arrogant. I don't want to be arrogant. Mini golf is no joke sounds funny. And then I have bested you in the field of battle sounds sarcastic. And I just wonder if he could pick up on it because Daisy's not necessarily the best at picking up sarcasm. Let's do mini golf is no joke. The secret to mini golf is that you have to be really, really good at it. Yes. Ah, right, Daisy, did you have a good time? Yo ho ho, I did. Huh. We haven't even found the buried treasure yet. I think we need to apply for a permit to dig around. To dig around here. I, I I can take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two enjoy your night. Ah. Sounds like a plan, Scooch. You cool with that? Sure. Just don't get yourselves into too much trouble. Can do. I'll make sure we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. That, that is my girl. Amanda and Daisy skip away, yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny, rebellious heart. <laughs> well, guess we should hit the bar now. Hey. There's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. How about that? That sounds like a plan. It sure Whoa. does. Tiki bars are fun. Brian and I walk into this, the Freaky Tiki, a Kichi Island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. I guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which is a little more bearable since I won. Okay, I gotta get my victory drink and get out of here. I think I already proved my superior dadness for the day. <laughs> two pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips up two rum drinks inside of a hollowed out pineapple. Or hollowed out pineapples. He sets them on fire and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. That's pretty cool. Usually, I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. <laughs> uh, if you don't want yours, I'll take it. And miss out on the taste of victory? I don't think so. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. Victory tastes fruity. Let's talk about lawn maintenance. I'm very particular. No electric mowers for me. I hand cut everything with scissors. <laughs> I also only water the lawn with bottled sparkling water. I just ran out so you can have to import some. Italian is preferred, but I'll settle for Icelandic if that's all you have. It's sweet that you're willing to put all that work into taking care of your dead grass. <laughs> God damn it! What? My grass is perfectly healthy! <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I know just the trick to perk it back up. <laughs> I'll work my magic when I finish trimming your grass with the tiniest pair of scissors I own. Man, even when he's trying to be helpful, I feel personally attacked. While I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Always made me want to own a deck. Ugh, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three-week job minimum. So, you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. Aww. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers? Oh. I have terrible news for you, Scooch. I have terrible news for you, Scooch. No. No. Not them too! That's the awful truth. Ah. No! Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. Huh? Wait! Trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. <laughs> I've been lied to for so long. We both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So, wait, you're a general contractor? <laughs> sure am. I actually helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. Wow, nice work. Ah. Yeah, kind of took after the footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor too? The best. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying to not become your father, and then you wake up one day and there you are. Hey. But I get to work with my hands and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream job. For me at least. Hmm, well, that's impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together still sitting in the garage. Okay, okay, maybe I should cool it with the dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Tell one of your classic jokes, ask him about his daughter, stare him down, unblinking. Ask him about his daughter, because he really loves Daisy. So, Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Hey. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. Hey. 
It's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble is really hard. I can barely make good words when I have the whole alphabet in front of me, let alone seven letters. Oh. Brian laughs. Oh. 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 See, who can keep things? We can keep things friendly here. This is a perfectly. This is perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove I'm better than him, obviously. <laughs> That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep it moving. Uh, ask about his dog. Complain about kids these days. Compliment. Ask about his dog. So, you have a dog? <laughs> sure do. Sure do. Hmm. I can't quite remember what he looks like. Oh. oh, he's a little corgi. Always has a handkerchief around his neck. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I think I might need a visual reminder to jog my memory. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog, maybe on your phone, <laughs> Brian laughs. <laughs> Scooch, if you wanted to see pictures of Maxwell, you could have just asked. Show me the goods, then. Brian pulls out his phone and flips to an entire album of dog pictures. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> what a good boy. I looked around the room and take in all the kishy decor, looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brian. I, I gesture to it? Cool fish. It's definitely fake. W really? <laughs> Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a figus with a plastic coconut glued to it. Or plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. <laughs> but I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger, though. Of course it was. Of course it was, Brian. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, yep. I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out on the sea for three days catching fish and drinking beer. You know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh, man. That's some of the best food I've ever had. That actually sounds amazing. Hmm. Well, it was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out, too. Then all of a sudden, it just starts running. Yeah. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for maybe an hour. Can't call out to my shipmates. It's just man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to tucker the guy out. I get him up to the surface and finally get a, get a sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway-esque. I get it onto the boat single-handedly. Hey. And you know what happens next? What happens next? Aww. The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail, knocks me out, and then I wake up the next morning on the deck, the fish gone. Never felt dumber. <laughs> so it got away? I think there's another version of me there that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish Captain Ahab style. He got his own Moby Dick! I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Ah, oh, man. Fishing's the life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicably urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him that I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. Uh, uh, no one can outfish me. I'm amazing at fishing. I'm the best at fishing. I'm simply the best out there. Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers and we can sit back, relax, and reel in some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. I sigh. I've been cornered. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. Hey. Yes, maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try to beat me, but they don't call me Scooch good at catching fish McDad for nothing. I am spinning a web of lies that I fear will one day consume hey. me. Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and then head outside. Till next time. Uh, this is a great opportunity for friendship. I'm real excited. Kiss my best. This is a, I'm, all right, great. I'm gonna do opportunity because that's really clever. And also for catching more fish than Brian. You're krilling me with these puns, Scooch. Mull it over. You'll come around to the fish-related dad jokes in no time. Uh, Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that com that competitive fire in his eyes. This is going to become the a whole thing, isn't it? Oh. Hello? Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? He wasn't too spicy about his crushing defeat, was he? 
Nah, he was pretty gracious about it. Like, frustratingly gracious. Yeah, how dare that guy have some decency. Come on, Dad, he seems like a neat dude. I, I think so. I don't know, the guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently, so do I. What did you, what did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit. So we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. Oh. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. Huh. I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Whoa! Oh, whoa! I told him I was an amazing fisherman. Mm. Y y you hate fishing. I know! I'm kind of panicking. Uh. I I I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat on a lake for hours on end with no promise of a tangible reward. Your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as the world darkens around you and you wonder if it's really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with oh. us. It's my cons constitutional right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming too. Well, hmm. I bet I could convince Brian to bring his dog. Ah. Ah, fine, sold. I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gonna call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, Pops. What a good date! I enjoyed that one. What'd I get? What'd I get? I nailed this one! Yes! You know what? Let me mow your lawn this weekend. Whoa! I got my first S! Yes! Okay, cool. The best I've done has been with Brian. Welcome. Good shit, Scooch. Alright, so now we've done Craig, Matt, Brian, Joseph, Damien, all that's left is Hugo and Robert. And I guess I'll go on a date with both of them. But then we gotta start digging into someone, and I'm thinking about digging into Damien first, and then Matt, and then Craig. Or Damien, Craig, Matt. Because that's the order I like them in. And Joseph's cool. I really like his kids, but can't really figure that guy out, and I kind of flubbed up the date. So, whatever. I don't care. Regardless, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or do whatever you can to remind me that I'm awesome, because I think that you're awesome, and you have an awesome face, and I hope you have an awesome day. Until the next episode, I will see you again. Holy shit. This is a good goddamn game.